gonna use meta human. Well, we got meta human at home. So, you wanna make characters quick, fast, and easy, while also still looking good. But you don't have the hardware to run it. You don't have the ability to run Unreal Engine, meta human on your computer. Not a problem. We got the solution for you today on this new series, Game Art for Broke People. I was originally going to make a dedicated video talking about how to make a custom base mesh using MakeHuman, but then I thought, you know what, I think a more general approach for like anybody who doesn't know how to use Blender can use this so they can make their own characters from scratch using this software and put it in any kind of situation that they need. I'm mainly focusing on game, game art, quick game art that they can just do off the rip. Alright, in order to get the software, we have to go to their website. I think it's like makehumancommunity.org and get it from there if you're a Windows user. However, for us folks who do not have a Windows machine, you have to go to GitHub and get the source code for there. You gotta get the source version. It's newer, but the only downside is it doesn't have all the assets for it. But they pretty much operate the exact same way. To those who are getting from the GitHub version, go to the folder where you extracted the files from, go to your MakeHuman folder, open up the terminal for it, and just type in dot backslash MakeHuman just so you can open up the program. But also, one thing you have to make sure is make sure that you can launch the executable itself. I'm using GNOME, so there's a button that you can just toggle it on. So there's also a command that you can just put in just to make it a quick executable. And after you just type that command in and do the command to launch the application, you can just get it. Good grief, he's naked! Great. Now, make humans installed. Now, what are we going to do with naked buddy over here? Well, there's a lot of options that you can do with this. You can change the gender. You can change the body type. You can change the... Uh, Height proportions. You can change. You can change a lot of things. You can even change the body type, individual parts of the limbs, individual part, parts of the head. There's a lot of customization tools that you can play around with, mess around with, while you're using Make Human. You can also use use the clothing assets they have in there, so you can just pretty much put clothes on the character too so i have a custom a few custom assets i personally made in there unfortunately some of them keep telling me oh the textures is not gonna work that's just a make human issue because i could because i'm constantly having to tell them this is where the textures is but it just doesn't want to read but it is what it is sometimes you probably have to rename the texture file so it just doesn't constantly redo it but outside of that you can do that. You can also add bones to the character in engine in this software too. So if you have to, is at the moment you have to export, all the bones are already weighted on the character, so you don't have to like constantly do that. There's a lot of options that you can mess around with with this software in question. So yeah it's a lot more this is a lot quicker and a lot more easier to get some characters ready to go for gaming usage i also subdivided the character too there's this button at the top left that kind of look like a little piece of paper that uh, allows you to subdivide the character so you can have a lot more deformity in the character it's a lot more smoother the it's not like sharper around the edges where you can see the bits of the player and such so that's also something you can take in consideration but if you don't have the hardware to actually just utilize that just keep it off that would save you on some performance once you're done you can save it and or you can export it out 
so you can use it in any game engine that you want. We're going to use it as an FBX file and we're going to set it to meters so we can have accurate height information going in. So you're just going to just click the three dots just so you can send it to whatever folder that you want to save your character at. Type in your name and just save it out. There's also another file format that you can use to do more edits to the character outside of MakeHuman called MHX2. That's the file format that MakeHuman uses. And you can just use your character as a base mesh and add more details to it in Blender. But that's not where we're going to go into as of right now. However, I can show you a few examples of what you can do outside of this. You see? You see how good it looks? Now, let me show you how, it, how the character in question that I just exported looks like inside of a game engine. I don't I don't think I have any I don't have any animations for it, but this is how it should look from exporting from Make Human into a game engine like Godot. Godot is also a free and open source game engine that you can just pretty much use on any kind of or hardware as well. I might also go into make a video about that whenever I feel like it, but this is a good example of how it will look outside in the video game environment. Well, that's it for now. Hope you enjoy it, and 